Hey, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to AFK farm a Malugaz of the Corrupted, which is like the third boss here in Core Keeper. Now, I always recommend that you just try and defeat a Malugaz by yourself, you know, for the first time because the game is just really fun and learning the uh, boss mechanics are really great too. But I know this boss can be very difficult. So if you absolutely need some help, you can use this method. And also, if you've already defeated him, you can use this to farm the boss over and over if you guys do enjoy any of my content please be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and let's jump right into it so right off the bat we just got to malugas this is on my 1.0 world and this does work on the 1.0 world so you have to actually make your way over here to his arena and it is a maze i went ahead and cleared it out for everybody so you guys can see what it looks like but what you want to do when you get here is just clean out everything so i'm going to go around and just start breaking everything because we want this whole arena to be empty all right now that it is all empty i even broke the stone walls down to the obsidian ones so uh we have this nice empty area next we're going to get out our shovel and we're going to go over here and actually we don't need to all right so we're going to kind of line up with this right here where you actually summon him we're going to line up over here and we're going to do something like that and then all you have to do is get a wooden fence and we're going to place it down at the end one here so we have it like that so whenever you end up doing this you're going to stand either up here at the top or down here at the bottom all right so now we're going to go back inside here into the arena get your shovel and dig up the uh, ground right here so all the way up kind of like that and then i'll do this last one to make it even all right now that we have that all dug up we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna finish this area so what you want to do is go ahead and break like as much up as you can of the ground so we're gonna break all of this and break this and then we're gonna leave that section so the thing that's going to defeat this boss is the spike traps. So make sure you go and get some spike traps. I like to place down about this many. You don't need a ton of them. Just enough that he's actually standing on them. So I'll just do about like that. That should be good. And we're leaving an area to actually spawn him. So we're going to get our skull. And we're going to place it down. Now quickly while he is uh, spawning. You want to run over here. Get your shovel out. And start taking out the ground. So he cannot teleport. So we're going to have just this spot here. And I'm going to stand here AFK. He cannot reach me now. Because the walls right here. The ground is completely gone. And all around me is gone. So now you can just stand here. And AFK farm him. Just sit here until he's completely dead. The spikes are going to do the work. And now we're just going to wait. All right, there we go. He is now defeated. He's going to drop the chest. And then all we do is put down some uh, walls or ground. And then go back over here. So let's go see what kind of loot we got. And you can do this as many times as you would like. So he doesn't even break the spikes. Some of the ground got broke. Let's see. We ended up getting a beast booster. We got the arcane staff. Okay, pretty good. And the soaring headgear. So really good stuff. Let me clean up my inventory. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this again. So just spawn him in. Then we're going to run to our spot. Get your shovel out just like before. Break the ground. Uh, break this one and then stay up here at the top and just stay AFK. Now, if you guys want to see how to do this for Azios the Sky Titan. So it's uh, like the big bird boss. Very difficult. Has lots of health and lots of mechanics. I do have a guide for that coming up later on. So make sure you subscribe and uh, ring that bell just to pay attention to the channel and it'll be coming up but uh that boss is really fun but it can be very very challenging so i really hope that this guide helped you out a lot we're gonna go ahead and defeat him again to see what kind of loot because there are some rare drops and a lot more rare loot than we used to have in the game before the 1.0 update so i'm hoping for some rare drops myself all right let's take a look see what we got this time this time we got the soaring pants we also ended up getting the soaring poncho so that's a new set that was just added in the game so it's plus 23 percent magic damage for a short duration on a critical hit okay that's pretty good actually yeah i'm definitely gonna pick up these pieces 
But that's really all there is to it. Just make sure that you clear out this space over here, slap down some spikes, and then hide over here. Make sure you clear out as much of this as you can up here, and then break this as you go up here. Make sure you have that wooden fence, that way he can't spawn and teleport on the piece that you're at. And that, yeah, that's really it. Now I'm going to show you how to get these skulls a little bit easier. So like the crystal skull shards, you need those to combine them to make the skull of the corrupted shaman. This is how you actually end up uh, spawning him in. So what you have to do is pretty much just kill mobs. You can get it from chests and stuff. But I found that the best way and the thing that drops them the most is the caveling brutes. So the big guys. If you could find some of those then you're in business so let's go ahead and uh, get out of this maze real quick all right so we're at 23 right now if i go in and defeat these you're going to see that we're going to get some pretty easily so just go around break any pots that you can get we're at 24 now uh we got these guys in here let's see little guy they have a chance of dropping some too just not as much as some of the other ones Obviously, if you find any chests like that, you're going to get some. So we're at 25. Here we go. Caveling Brute. They have a high chance of dropping some. And we got a lot of enemies over on this side. So let me go ahead and break through here. We're at 25. Now we're at 26. Killed that one. I see some uh, pots over here to break. The pots have a great chance of actually dropping those as well. Now we're at 27. Let's see nothing there. Looks like there's some stuff over on this side. There we go. 28. Another pot. 29. So it's really not that hard to farm these up. Obviously, I'm mining through walls a lot faster than early game players. But that's just uh, this is just to show you how to actually get some of these. So we're at 30 now. And yeah, just go around breaking pots and defeating mobs to get these. And then we just got one of these chests to drop. If you ever end up actually getting one of those. Let's see what should I get rid of. We'll get rid of this. If you end up getting one of these little chests to drop. Make sure you grab that. Because they have a chance of having those inside them as well. So they actually changed it now. And this is how these skulls are so much easier. So when you right click. You have them in your inventory. It only takes three crystal skull shards to make one skull. It used to take ten. And now it just takes three, which is awesome. So as you've seen how fast I was able to farm those up, you can go around and gather these and then use this and do the whole AFK method. Get the full set of loot. There is so much loot to get from that boss. And if you get some really good stuff and farm up some materials from them, you're going to be able to use that in turn to help you with the next bosses because there's still a lot of bosses left within the game. And I do believe it's going to help you out a lot. Anyways, that's it for the video. I thank you so, so much for taking the time to watch it. I hope you have a really, really amazing day. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.